Urban Therapy with Sun Sun Seven Five Two, and this is your daily go get a number one hundred and forty for February twenty first, two thousand and fifteen. It's my dad's birthday today. My father, Milton McIntyre, brother Mac of the Legacy of a Nation show. Happy birthday! Happy seventy eighth birthday! You are the healthiest, happiest, and luckiest seventy eight year old I've ever known or seen. You're still spry, you still have that pep in your step, you still exercise, you still get along good, your mind is in perfect shape, and you are a credit to all of the black fathers out there. And I love you, man. Happy birthday. Hope you have at least 22 more, at the very least. And I think that's going to happen, too. In our daily go get a Black History Month spotlight today, I want to talk about slavery. Yeah, slavery. See, a lot of us think we know slavery, we think we understand slavery because we learned a little bit about slavery when we were in school, but we don't really understand, most of us really don't understand how deep slavery went. See, see this animal right here? This animal is my property. I consider it to be part of my family, but she's my property. I could buy this animal, sell this animal. This animal has to live the way I decided that she's going to live. If I wanted to work this animal to death, I could do that. If I wanted to put this animal out in the cold, I could do that. If I wanted to give this animal to another person and you know, so she could eat their mice or whatever the case may be, I could do that. And nobody would say anything about it. Now you take that same type of concept and you put that with human beings. Human beings. I don't mistreat this cat. But we know that there are people out there who do, who do mistreat their pets. Imagine being someone's pet for profit. Imagine working for free all of your life until someone either pays for your freedom or you somehow miraculously get a chance to pay for it yourself. Imagine just like a cat, just like a, a dog or another animal. Imagine having children and having your children sold off to other places and you have absolutely nothing to say about that and having absolutely nothing you can do about that. Imagine if you were taken to a foreign land in extreme weather conditions across 3,000 miles of water on a boat that does not have a motor. You know how long that would take? How long do you, how, how long do you think that take? Most of most people have not, if, unless you've been on a cruise or, or have gone deep sea fishing, you don't know what it's like to be out in the water and not be able to see land. Now imagine doing that in deplorable conditions, side by side like sardines with your brothers and sisters that you can't communicate with because they, they speak a different language um, um, than you but they are the same complexion relatively as you. And that's the reason that you are being shipped to a foreign land. To learn how to speak differently, to worship differently, to act differently, to work for free, 100% free, and from, from the time that you were taken as a slave to the time that you die or are free. Imagine if you had a wife, imagine if your mother, your sister, your daughter, imagine them being sexually assaulted by another man against your will, but you having absolutely nothing you can do about it because it will cost you your life. And even if it, and if it costed you your life, it could cost your whole family their lives as well. And if they did survive, if, they, if it didn't cost them their life, if, if you just sacrificed your own, not only would one of your female family members be still sexually assaulted, raped, but they would continue to be abused while you die or are sold off into a southern land where the life expectancy was seven years. Now, see... When you have an animal that 
you train a certain kind of way, you expect that animal to perform a certain kind of way, and you expect their offspring to perform a certain kind of way. So that's slavery. So people wonder why black people in this nation can't advance, why they can't think differently than they think. But they don't understand slavery. We run around here with tattoos and brands when we uh, join Greek organizations. Did you know that we used to be branded like cattle, branded like livestock? Because we were property of another person. Property. Serious stuff. This slavery thing goes deep. It goes deep, deep, deep. If your master, massa, as we called him, was a homosexual, he could have sex with you and there was nothing you could do about it. So you could be forced into homosexuality unwillingly. Nothing you could do. Sort of like being raped in jail. But in jail, there is something you can do. You're a slave. You are property of another person. Property. I don't think people understand that enough. Property. You own, you are owned by somebody else. They paid money for you. They looked you up and down before they bought you. They did things like this. Felt your muscles. Turned you around. Bent, bent you over. Looked in your crevices. They gave you a full body inspection. Sometimes clothed, sometimes naked. Just like an animal. When you treat it like an animal. We treat it like animals. So, I mean, I could go on for days about the slavery experience and how that turns over from generation to generation to generation. And we wonder how come we can't get out of that. And I don't even have enough time today to get into the whole mental, the whole mental slavery part of, of what it entails. So when you run around here with these tattoos, y'all just don't get it. Y'all get these brands, y'all just don't get it. I mean, you can get them, but understand that just the same way that other people of other races or other um, nationalities can't understand why we can't get up out of our condition, we don't even understand why we're in our condition, and we blame ourselves for it. But you think about slavery. When you get a chance, read up on slavery on, and how deep it was, because I'm, I'm not even scratching the surface. I'm just giving you the understandable, extreme, bad parts of it. There were no good parts of it. None. None. Not one single solitary part of slavery was good. Unless you think being owned by somebody else and, and having to submit to the will of somebody else is good. Oh, by the way, speaking of submitting to will, we were taught that our master was God. Not God in the sky, but actual God. How you like that? It is what it is. All right. For your daily go get ism of today, <laughs> I talk about the slavery stuff almost, lose my train of thought. I really want to go on, go on about it a little bit more, but check it out. I want to talk to y'all today about how sometimes you get the bear and sometimes the bear gets you. You get the bear, sometimes the bear gets you. That means that sometimes you get lucky and sometimes luck befalls you. Sometimes, you know, you take a chance, you step out on faith, and you get lucky. You do well. And sometimes, man, it's like roll seven out. Snake eyes. Cracks. You know? And it, it, some people call it karma. Some people call it luck. Some, some people call it divine intervention. Some people just think that, hey, sometimes you get the bear, sometimes the bear gets you. You ever ran, have, If you've ever ran, run a light when you, you saw a cop looking after you ran the light, or you were speeding and you know that you passed a state trooper and he didn't come and get you. Sometimes you get the bear, and sometimes the bear gets you. You ever get caught with your hand in the cookie jar, get caught doing something you had no business doing, get walked up on by, by a boss when you goofing off at work. 
And he ain't say nothing. Or, or he didn't see you. Sometimes you get the bear. Sometimes the bear gets you. That is what it is. I'm not beating y'all in the head with nothing today. Just want y'all to have a great day. Snowing outside, man. Snowing all heavy. Be careful out there tonight if you're going out. Please be careful. Remember, good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard. Go for yours. Remember slavery. Read up on slavery. Get deep in the, into that. And, and then learn to understand why your people do the things they do. And then and, and then get right. We, get, we can get free one at a time. Just the way we became slaves one at a time. Also, try to get the bear. Try not to let the bear get you. It ain't easy. Gotta be lucky, man. Gotta be lucky. But stay on your P's and Q's and you increase your chances of luck. Holla at y'all tomorrow for another Daily Go get -em -ism. Remember, UrbanTherapyWithSun.com Also, YouTube.com forward slash Sun752 And, yo, Daily Go get -em Daily Go Get Emism show each and every day, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 347 677 1533 is the call in number. Get with that. I'll let y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.